Hello, my name's Natalie and in today's video I'm going to be talking about new movie releases in February. Firstly is 80 for Brady. A group of four mature women decide to go to the 2017 Super Bowl to see Tom Brady play for what could be his last time. I love that these women aren't quietly fading into obscurity, but they're out there living their best lives, doing something that they enjoy and are passionate about. I love to see it. Knock at the Cabin. Another M. Night Shyamalan film that looks creepy and a little bit disturbing, hopefully not too scary for me, but a gay couple are holidaying at a cabin with their young daughter when four strangers break in trying to prevent the apocalypse. We don't know how their actions will stop the end of the world, but it looks very intense. The only thing I'm concerned about is the little girl and I really hope that she doesn't suffer or go through anything horrible because of these four people. A lot of nothing. This film is a response to the unprecedented and often unprovoked killing of black people by police in America. It's a thriller about a wealthy black couple who kidnap their policeman neighbor after he has just murdered a black person. Obviously this is political, obviously this is about race and class and power and justice. Baby Ruby. This film looks bloody terrifying. A woman starts to experience all kinds of horror after she's had her baby. She's sleep deprived and out of her depth as her whole life changes as she is sucked into the vortex of matrescence. If you don't know what matrescence means, it's basically a new term that has been coined to explain the transition from being a woman into a mother. It's kind of taken its roots, I guess, from the word adolescence, which is the transformation from a child to an adult. So this is the transformation from a woman into a mother. Maybe this film will give us a glimpse into what it's like to be a new mother. Let it be morning. A Palestinian born Jewish man travels home to Jerusalem for a celebration. He ends up trapped in Palestine as the village is locked down. Honestly, I don't know much about the Israel-Palestine conflict, but I think this could be a good entry into that world. Somebody I used to know. A woman bumps into her ex and they end up becoming part of each other's lives again. But he's engaged, so she befriends his fiance and they seem to develop this great friendship. It's kind of a rom-com, but also about female friendships and I guess intergenerational friendships. It looks kind of fun and cute. Your Place or Mine, you've probably seen the trailer for this new Reese Witherspoon Ashton Kutcher film, but it's a whole cutesy trope of they hooked up a long time ago but they were just friends and will they won't they get together now. Is she gonna pick her familiar BFF or is she gonna go for the hot new man on the scene? Who knows, it's gonna be fun. Sharper. This film is intriguing. I didn't really understand what was going on from the trailer in terms of whose side we're supposed to be on. It's this con movie about con artists and wealth and luxury and, and I guess tricking your way into that world. Everyone's lying, everyone's stealing, everyone's got ulterior motives. So it looks like it's gonna be a great twisty con movie. Marlo. This is a new noir film. I'm reluctant to call it neo-noir because I don't think it has elements of neo-noir and it's definitely made in the traditional noir style, but it is a new release. <laughs> I'm not sure, but in any case, it follows the usual noir tropes. There's a world-weary ex-detective type investigator character, a beautiful, seductive femme fatale. She needs his help. She possibly has a dead lover. Everyone has secrets and there's lots of shadows. It looks good. Emily. This film is about Emily Bronte while she was writing her famous book, Wuthering Heights. Emily seems to be a sort of misfit who didn't quite fit in with her family and has a sort of darkness about her. So it could be a really interesting exploration of a different type of female character. We have a ghost. This is a comedy about a family who moves to a new town for a fresh start and discovers a ghost in their attic. The son records the ghost on his phone and now the family and their house is like this viral sensation. Everybody wants to get a look at this ghost. The family decide to help the ghost because he doesn't know how he died so they try to find out who he is and investigate his death. Bruiser. This is an intimate drama about a father, his son and his son's friend, I guess you could say. He becomes friends with this drifter um, who teaches him ways to be a man. 
uh, but apparently this film is about the toxic elements of masculinity that can come through and I think it'll be a really interesting exploration of the different ways in which a young boy is shown to be a man. Juniper. Another quiet drama sort of film. I think it's set in New Zealand by the looks of things. Sam is a young adult and he's charged with looking after his alcoholic grandmother for the summer. She's also got a broken leg. It looks like a film where he learns a lot from her and she regains some of her independence and joy and free-spirited nature. The type of film where a young man realizes that old women are not just worthless creatures but are rich and interesting and full characters. That's all for this video. If you liked it, please do give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. It really helps my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.